Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint and today we are doing, I got two examples. Oh, yes. uh, <laughs> we're making a food cart. So this is gonna be so much fun. If you have some, some snacks and you like to paint along, might be a good time to grab those out because we are showing you and we're gonna do two different things. Actually, you can do any type of thing, but we're gonna do a food cart. So if you wanna make a can cotton candy one, a popcorn one, if you're like, I make lemonade stands in the summer, maybe you do that, which is really, really cool. Yes, it is. We're just gonna show, we're going to do together is make a cart. So the first step is I want you to grab a pencil and I'll show you, actually, let me go over the supplies, is I have a piece of paper and it already has an outline. So you can either go ahead and draw these shapes if you want to, to get started, or you can go to our website. We have an outline library and type in food cart. And then I have my watercolor. So I have a few different colors I'm using, but you can use any colors that you have. And then I have my brushes. Because this is a smaller piece of paper and I'm using kind of small parts, I'm probably gonna be using my small brush a little bit more. So if you have a small one, go and grab that. I like to have a paper towel, my cup of water. And then the fun thing at the end is, do you see how there's some shiny parts to this? Mm -hmm. That is made from the awesome stickles. stickles. So we have two different kinds here that we're gonna be using. But if you have anything that's similar to that, go and grab that. Okay, let's start with our motto. So if you can sit up and raise your hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Oh, and then you wanna come say hi? Oh, sure. So Keenan is here, he's our film guy. He's gonna be painting along with us. And if you've been painting, you know who he is. Hello. <laughs> so, okay. Now, you heard the last word of our motto, which is creative. So you are gonna be super creative here and also brave, which is our first word, because we're going to take this outline and we're going to draw together with basic shapes. I know you can do it. So grab your pencil. First step is on our food cart stand, we're gonna kind of jazz it up a little bit. So on food cart stands, I'm trying to think where I've seen some of them before. Uh, maybe at a carnival, which is actually the theme of our box. Yes. Or if you go to like a theme park or something, you might see those. Mm -hmm. But on top is something that looks like this. And they have these kind of scallops, but they're parts of the top of the cart. So what we're going to do is you can make them any size shape. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a smiley face and connect. So they can be really wide. They can be really skinny. But I want you to do a few of them across the top. So it's actually, it's the bottom of the shape, but it's on the top part of it. Then what we're gonna do is if you wanna do stripes like this, is you're gonna go from the points of intersection, so where the two meet, and you're gonna go up. And you're gonna go up and continue all the way across. So that's how you make it look like it's striped. Then the next step is on our cart. So we have our cart, but usually like even on this table, we have a surface that will help us. So if you see in the kitchen, usually there's a, a surface that you are preparing for. So what I want you to do is I want you to draw a really skinny rectangle on top. So what I think might help actually is right here is I'm gonna add just a little bit over here on the left and then add a little bit on the right. And then I'm gonna go up a little bit and up a little bit. And that is gonna be the thickness of my table. And then I'm gonna connect these and go all the way across. And you just made a thin rectangle. Nice work. Look at that. It's almost like a lid. Yeah, I like that. Then we're gonna do a triangle shape. So typically these carts kind of have an extra spot where they can kind of put, put it up. So what we're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of, maybe on this that you extended this short line, maybe extend it a little bit further. And then triangles have three sides. So we have one, two, and maybe about here or somewhere, I'm gonna go up, diagonal, and connect. So you got a triangle. Then let's see, we got two more parts. So we have our wheel. So you'll have an empty space right here. Mm -hmm. So in that, I want you to kind of eyeball it. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I actually love drawing because 
it doesn't it doesn't have to look a certain way. We can kind of add to it if you want to make it longer or bigger, however you want. Maybe it needs to have some off-road wheels so it has wedges in there. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Put a motor on the <laughs> spoke area and then yeah. it can be motorized. See, there's so many different ideas. And on the other it. end, you could put a seat and some pedals and you could ride your cart. Ooh, it reminds me of a unicycle. Okay, nice. I like that. I guess this is kind of a unicycle. Kind of is, yes. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, you can add way more to this, like Keenan said. Um, so if you want, you can, or if you, it has two wheels, maybe you add another wheel right here. I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna really just draw a line right here, because that's kind of my kickstand. <coughs> so instead of two wheels, this one has one wheel, so you can kind of roll it, but then it needs to stay balanced, so it needed something to keep it so it stays upright. Mm. Then... That could be your bike kickstand, too. Yeah, oh yeah, it's like a bike, that's a good analogy. Yeah. It's a bike kickstand. Okay, then let's see what else we got. Oh, I realized that we need to have our pole. So this is kind of floating in space right now. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna connect them and then we're just gonna draw a pole right there and somewhere over there. So then it connects it. Okay, now let's add two things. You get to decide what kind of cart. So like I said in the beginning, is it a Lemonade stand? Mm. Is it a cotton candy? What do we got here? We got popcorn. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling? So whatever it is, there's gonna be two parts. First one is that we're gonna draw the shape. And then the second one, which actually I'm gonna start with first so I can show you, is the second one is depending on how many words you have, you're just gonna draw a rectangle. So if you have a lot more words or the sign of your cart says, and it could say your name, so it could say Nicole's Lemonade Stand, it could say welcome, it could say enjoy, it could say anything. It could say hola or aloha. <laughs> oh, if it's a shaped ice. Shaved ice. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it could be anything. <laughs> Maybe you wanna do ribeyes. <laughs> ribeyes? Yes, ribeye. Like a good steak <laughs> or a vegetable juicing bar, maybe. <laughs> Sounds like something I would like. So whatever it is that you are doing, all right, let's do popcorn. So you're going to write the word inside your sign, and then you're going to draw what it is that you're doing. So if you did cotton candy, you would do a triangle and then add that if you want to do popcorn let's see let me move this over here so whatever it is that you're doing i want you to draw what it is so let's see i think of a popcorn popper oh, maker yeah. it's got a bowl in there to make sure that you can cook the Ooh, okay. popcorn it's a bowl usually yeah, it's like a bowl that that heats up the oh the up here kernels yeah and then as it gets hot after a certain amount of time, it empties kind of, it into and the... And then it'll be down here, right? Mm -hmm. Then okay. you refill that bowl and does it again. Does the pole come from the top, right? I think so. I think, okay. Well, we're using our imagination. Sweet. Now that kind of looks like a hot dog. <laughs> it could be a hot dog stand. A hot dog frame, a framed hot dog holder. <laughs> so I'm gonna add my popcorn. Uh, what's it called? Cartons? Yeah, add some stripes so you're just going to kind of give yourself a basic part and then i'll add the popcorn here when i'm done so again you draw what you want yours to be what you're selling okay then we're done with our drawing so good job that was really fun because that was those were just really simple steps that we were able to do together now let's move on to our watercolors so we have a few different colors i have a red and if you want to mix some colors, you can do that as well. But squeeze out all your colors onto your palette. And then what you're going to do is, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to use my small brush because I'm using kind of a smaller area. And let's first start with the stripes. Okay, so you get to pick whatever color you want, but I want you to pick one color to start with your stripes. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna dip my brush in water and then pick up any color that you want. I'm gonna go with blue and I'm gonna paint every other stripe. And then, oh, 
got some color on there, that's okay. Is this a big space that you would be able to use a bigger brush? Yeah, you could on this one. I guess maybe I was more thinking for the other spots. So yeah, if you have a bigger brush, you can use that. We're gonna do stripes, so every other one. Then you're also gonna do every other one on here. Now, if it's easier for you, if you want to go oh, and grab your pencil and draw stripes to start with before doing it in watercolor, you can do that. So add a stripe, add a stripe, it'll go behind your sign. Another one and another one. So that might help you. So then I'm gonna go and grab my brush again and I'm gonna paint every other one. Keenan, if you were to have a food stand, what would you make yours? Mine would be, I'll buy your stuff from you and see if I can sell it to other people. So if you, <laughs> if you wanna get rid of something, I'll be like a, a pawn shop <laughs> cart. So not necessarily food? <clears throat> right. Or you're saying food? Yeah, no, no, no food. Because I don't want to buy someone's half-eaten hot dog and then try and sell it to somebody else, you know? That would be tough. <laughs> okay. That would be a tough sell. That makes sense. But maybe someone's wearing a hat they don't want to have anymore, so I'll just have a hat cleaner with me. And uh, I'll say, I'll buy your hat from you for four and a half dollars. <laughs> four and a half. And then I'll sell it for seven, and I'll make two dollars. Nice. You know, and they won't have a hat. They'll have four dollars to go buy a snack, you know? <laughs> Good plan. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so once you do one color, I know you're probably really excited and eager to do the other color, but I want it to dry. And I have a little color right here. I'm just gonna dry that right now. You, you might have some splatters and that looks really cool. But I was gonna say is I want this to fully dry because if I were to paint it, it would bleed into each other. So I'm going to go and let's do our brown. So brown, I kind of think of as like the wood part of it. So the parts that would be that are your poles. And now, I realize that, do you see I have a little bit of color on my hand? Yes. That might be you, because this is a little bit wet. So if you would rather go and take a break, or another idea is kind of what I did here, is if it's, if you don't want to hover your hand, you can just go like this and get a paper towel and kind of pick up the color. It may create a really cool texture. Mm. Ooh, look at that. Nice texture. That's oh, fun. Oh, cool napkin. Yeah. So those are your options, but I just want to show you is if it does get wet on your hands, it's okay. It's color, it'll, it'll come off. Eventually. <laughs> but we're also gonna do our tabletop. Now your tabletop might not be wood, so maybe it's a different color and you want to paint that. Could be concrete, so it would be gray. That's true. Let's see. This part is also wood. For mine, but again, if you wanna make yours different colors, you can, and then the wheel. So if you wanna do the wheel like this, what I did was I just painted a circle, and if it's a really thick wheel, then you're just gonna make this line a lot thicker like that. And then you can draw a smaller circle in the middle and then you can draw some lines, or these are called spokes, right? Yep. Of a wheel. Another fun cart to have to sell food would be pizzas. Oh, yes. You know, you can go to Walmart and get, or Sam's Club or Costco and just get a pack of like pizza doughs that are already made, like 12 and 16 inch ones. Mm -hmm. And then you can and just make pizza? a bunch of custom pizzas and just say, I've brought all the veggies. And all the meats, <laughs> you tell me what you want on your pizza. Oh, and then you make it right in front of them. Or make it's it right in front of them. It. It's a fresh pizza. Mmm. That does sound good. I might do that this summer. <laughs> okay, so you have your cart. Now, these stripes are kind of dry, so let's do the other color. Now, I want to show you a trick, is if you want to make a lighter color, what you're gonna do is there's a magic trick, is you take your color, I'm gonna put some up here, and I'm gonna add water. So I'm just picking up water onto my palette and mixing it. So the magic trick is water plus color equals a lighter color mm. of whatever you're doing. So do you see I made a light blue? Yep, very nice. So light blue. So you're gonna paint every other one
It's making me hungry now. Ooh, that got really, really light. That'd be pretty good, right? If you rolled up to a, a cart and they said, we make your custom pizza. Yeah. That sounds good. I also think of ice cream. Mmm, ice cream and pizza. <laughs> oh, hot chocolate bar. Yeah. That'd be fun. Okay, so now we did our light color. So the only other thing we have is now our actual item. So whatever you have, I want you to paint that. So maybe yours, if yours cotton candy, you're gonna do some lighter colors. If you have popcorn, you're gonna do some yellow and then paint your um, cartons. If you have lemonade, let me show you this again. If you have lemonade, you can add some lemonade lemons inside of it and then some straws. So I'm gonna paint mine and then I will meet you back when you are done with that. Okay, so I let mine fully dry, so make sure if you haven't done that yet to let it dry because we're gonna add our fun stickles. So what stickles is, is it's if you've ever used puffy paint before, it's like that. So with the cap on, I want you to shake it so that all of the glitter glue goes to the bottom, the stickles, and you're gonna open it. And what this is, is there's a little part right here that the, the stickles is gonna travel through. When, so when I squeeze, it's gonna go like that. Can you see that? Does yes. that work on the side cam? Yes, it does. Sweet. So you get to decide what you wanna add stickles to. So I'm just pressing and moving along my paper. So I'm gonna add some sparkles here, maybe right here. Really make it pop. Now, here's the thing, whenever you're using this, is this stuff is wet. So, I want you to make sure that whenever you do this, that you don't run your hand near it because it will smear it, which is okay, because it'll just get glitter everywhere, but just know that that will happen, which actually makes me think, I'm gonna stop right there before I do this other line because I wanna add some stickles to my words. So I'm gonna trace over my words with my stickles. And if this is too hard, what you can also do is you can go over your pencil lines for your words with a marker, or if you have a crayon, or if you wanna go over it with your watercolors, you can also do that. So it's just going over your pencil lines. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll outline my sign. So fun. So this was such a cool project. So you can keep adding more if you want. And you know what this makes me think of? I feel like it needs to, a story. Like there's a story that goes with it. So maybe you're the person selling this. I always think it's fun. And I know some of you in our community like to add stories to it, or I've seen some of you do poems. Maybe that'd be a fun thing to write that about. That would be a really fun poem to prompt. Right? Yeah. Because it's just like, okay, what, what time of year is it? When are you selling this? Who are you selling to? Did you make money or were you selling it for free? Were you giving it away? There's so many different things. So this was so much fun. So I want to see what you make. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Our Insta Let's Make Our Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Our Kids. So please share with us. And actually we have a shout out for a few kids who have shared with us in our group. So this is Cora and Drew, and they did our sweet cupcakes project together. And I wanted to share this because I wanted to show, we didn't even think about that, a cupcake no. stand. Yeah, we could have had a cupcake stand. So maybe you turn that project into a cupcake stand. So Cora and Drew, thank you for painting with us. We love seeing your painting. So for everyone here watching, this was so much fun. Thank you for creating with me. And always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative, especially on this project. And we will see you next time. Bye.